Hello everyone and welcome back. Is it a bit dark? I'm not really sure. It's a dark and dreary day so it probably is a bit dark but anyway hello everyone and welcome. So happy Super Haul Sunday. Today is going to be a haul of a brand I have not done in donkeys and I'm so excited to because I know it's one of your guys' favourite and that bad boy is Zara. Now, the, I don't know, you guys know that I don't do Zara hauls very often. Um, I do them when Zara has a sale, which Zara has had. And that perfectly links into the sponsor of this video, which is Shop Tagger, because they are really the reason that I knew about the Zara sale. They are the reason that I found the items that I wanted that were in the sale everything like that so you guys have heard me talk about shop tiger before and they are basically an app and an online extension um, for your browser you can either use it on google chrome um, on your laptop or you can use the app on your phone both are as easy to use as each other um, just depends on which you prefer so yeah they are just a really great free service that you guys can use and they save you some coin when you are shopping it's completely free to sign up and to use and ultimately what you do is when you go onto a website and you see an item that you like but maybe it's out of stock in your size or you want to get it when it's maybe a little bit reduced in price you can save the item to your shop tagger boards and then you will get a notification when that item goes into sale or your size comes back into stock which for me, so you guys know, I've recently become quite obsessed with um, trainers, um, workout trainers, and sizing and stock sizing is a little bit difficult. So Nike is one of the brands that you can save items on Shop Tagger. So I currently have some Nike Reacts saved because they're only in stock in a size 2.5 and i am waiting for the day but also i had a few other pieces saved on my shop tiger not too long ago um like this little sports bra and the matching shorts um and i got a notification when nike had their i think it was 10 percent or 20 percent off sale um and i managed to snatch this all up in the sale and get it in my size and it was the best moment ever and they're actually doing a giveaway and i'm not gonna lie it's probably the best giveaway i've ever had on this channel because it's for a thousand dollars convert that into pounds it's this um of goodies so to enter the giveaway all you need to do is go in the link below and download the extension on to your laptop browser and then also download the app save just one single thing onto one of your boards before the 30th of july and on the 31st the winner will get an email with their a thousand dollars to spend which is pretty blooming great and if i could enter the giveaway trust me i'd be doing it but i think that might be a bit fraudulent so i've kind of organized my shop tagger in little albums because otherwise if i have it on one home page i might miss things i like to check up on things you know see how they're doing so i have like gym trainers like gym wear and then more like fashiony clothes and everything like that but you could literally save it into whatever album you like whatever order color size item a little bit of everything um, it obviously gives you the flexibility to create new boards all the time and also there is a cashback feature so on some brands you'll be able to get cash back so you are literally getting paid to shop which is absolutely crazy and there is also the option of looking at coupon codes that are there on the internet and um, that they have already found for you so you can obviously not spend hours looking for them and again save yourself that little bit of money and trust me it makes all the blooming difference so yes i will link shop tiger down below but now let's get on into the zara haul and not all the items are from the sale but there is some that i did spot in the sale so that's thanks to shop tiger i managed to get in my size before they sold out so i'm gonna try and open this box now open box why is this box not opening okay so first thing i'll probably show you is actually probably the most basic thing i got three pairs of denim shorts yes now i could have sworn that i bought them all in the same size um i could have sworn i bought them all in a 36 which is the uk 8 
but I seem to have this pair in a 38 which is a UK 10 I'm pretty sure they just sent me the wrong size um but there's not like the sheet of paper should I check on the Zara app because I swear I didn't do that but yeah um to be fair the 36s actually look really small so the uk 8 um so i might actually be better off with the uk 10 because you guys know me i don't like denim that is tight to my skin i just feel really uncomfortable about it um, and i know that people go on about zara's denim and zara's denim shorts so i thought the time had come where i should actually check it out so i bought three different styles because i thought you know if i'm gonna check it out I'm going to do it properly. Also, I keep on, like, leaning back on this. It seems like I've done my knee in a little bit on my run today. Not sure how, why, or any of the above. Okay, purchases. This order was £257. And I did order the shorts and a 10. I obviously just wanted to see the different sizing. So, let's get started. Shall I? I'll start with these ones. I'll start with the bigger size, just so you guys can see them um they're kind of like a dark wash denim and then they've got this really like interesting like quite a lot of buttons i don't know kind of makes me think of do you remember when places like new look did those high-waisted jeans and they had all the buttons up the front and it was a bit strange kind of reminds me of that but i do kind of also still like it um and then they just have frayed bottoms now you guys know me i don't like short shorts i don't like denim shorts that get my bum out um so i'm pretty sure all of these are quite like not mega high rise in terms of the waist because i like a mid rise and also are not bummy hopefully i'm just gonna do up these buttons they're a little bit awkward um because they're really nice buttons so it's stiff okay so here is the first pair of denim shorts um, they are a little bit baggy like down at the bottom but like at the waist they actually fit pretty okay this is a slightly different style for me i would say this is a slightly more like androgynous style because they're not that fitted and shaped but i do like the length at the front of the thighs you guys know that um i'm a fan of like a longer area in my thigh area because it's not my favorite part of my body um so yeah i do like them these bad boys, oh, no way. These bad boys were £15.99. Oh my God, and they're now reduced to £9.99. Oh, but they're out of stock. I'll link what I can down below. But yeah, I got these for £15.99, which I think is a stupidly good price for such a good quality pair of denim shorts. They're a darker wash, so I think they look a little bit more expensive than say a lighter wash. Um, but I like them, I like them. Also, if I'm covered in goosebumps, that is because now that I'm up on the top floor, like, mum didn't tell me until after I moved up here that it's actually freaking freezing up here because you're in the roof, basically. Um, so I think I'm going to need to get myself some, like, little electric heaters or something. Someone could let me know any ideas. Um, that would be great. Okay, next up. So I have a slightly more, like, acid wash pair. I should go with those next. Now, these ones are both the eights. So I'm intrigued what the fit, oh god I just literally put my foot through the entire pair of shorts. I'm intrigued what the fit is going to be like. Okay so these are definitely a lot more high waisted than the last pair but that might be because they are a smaller size. So obviously if you're in a bigger size it's naturally going to come up probably lower waisted because if it's a bit big, big for you it will sit lower. Does that make any sense? Um, so yeah, these are actually very high-waisted for me. I'm not normally that much of a high-waisted fan, just because I feel like it shortens my body. Um, as in, like, I like a high-waisted, but maybe not this high-waisted. Um, I mean, they fit really nicely. They feel comfortable. Like, there's enough wiggle room. Um, I don't know. I don't think I like them as much as the last pair. Not because of the fit, just because of, like, the shape of the shorts. Um... But I also think that a lot of you guys will probably like them because they're probably the most, like, can match with everything kind of pair of shorts. Um, so, no, they fit nice. They're comfortable. I don't know. I just want a little bit more from them. I don't know why. I think it's just because of how high-waisted they are that I think it literally makes it look like I, like, go, like, waist to boobs. Um... So yeah, but again, they're not too thigh -y. I like these little frilly outfits at the um, inner to flatter. And they're also not, they're a little bit bummy, but they're not too bummy. So great. Um, next pair of shorts. 
Okay, these look like the most like raunchy pair if you ask me. Oh, okay. Okay, these are a bit more of a mid-rise, but they're slightly more high-rise than... They're slightly more low-rise than the last pair, but they're still not low-rise. Oh, is that zip okay? Okay. Kind of looks like a um, shark has come and taken a chunk out of the shorts on my leg. Sorry, my mirror's just here, so I'm trying to have a look. You know what? I actually do quite like these. They're very diddy. I'm not going to lie to you. Like, they're quite small shorts. They're not big like there's a lot of fabric missing um but for me i like them in the respect of they've got quite a lot of fabric again here i know i keep talking about it but you know everyone goes for something that they find more flattering on their shape or that they prefer um so i like how it's more missing at the sides um are they bummy they're actually not too bummy to be fair i thought they might be because when they're on they feel a little bit more like hot pants um, but again, the size fits nicely. Like, you know, there's enough space for food in there. Not like maybe like a 10 course meal, but you know, maybe I should not eat the huge and enormous food bloating um, portions that I do. <laughs> not gonna change. Uh, so yeah, I do actually really like these. I think they might be my favorite, but they're also still quite like, like the, the, the bigger baggier ones. Let me know which ones. Let me know if I should keep any of them. Um, in terms of pricing. Oh my god, it's so chilly. Where's my phone gone? Honest to god, I swear my brain isn't screwed on these days. I don't know what is going on with me. But I just seem to have lost my marbles. My phone's up here. You guys are probably screaming at me because you probably saw me put it up there like two minutes ago. Um, so these mini ones are £17.99. And then the other ones that's like more acid wash are £19.99. So I think Zara denim price, um, denim shorts price is really great. I think it's a really good price and I'm very impressed. Pretty much. Okay, so next up now, let's pop a top on. Hmm. What to go for? Should we go for this little cutie? Now, I know this isn't very much um, fabric going on, but no surprise, it's me. So this is a little purple bow top. You guys know me, I love a bow. It's got these little strings. I'm pretty sure this was in the sale um, and it was a pretty darn good price. £7.99, £7.99. £7.99 and it's now on sale for £5.99 and it's in stock in all sizes so I'm going to put this on and I'll be back. Okie dokie, so I've got the little purple top on. Now it is very little, I got this in a size small um, and if you had bigger boobs than me, which you probably do, I would definitely um, be cautious that it is quite small, like it fits me perfectly but a size small is normally like a size 8 and I definitely don't have the boobs of a size eight so okay has these little strings now i thought you just like bow that in the center um which looks cute but then i looked at the model and they have it like that which i think is pretty funky also look at my fake tan patches in my armpits it's awful i think because obviously i've been working out and like sweating well but now that makes those feel like they're a bit short um so that is what that looks like. Um, I actually don't know if I like it with it up there. Um, I don't know if I prefer it with just the two little straps. Obviously you could just remove this string if you really wanted to. Or you could do like a little... I think it's one of those that you could literally do it like a million different ways. Oh, I quite like it like that. That looks cute. I like that. Um, but yeah, so it is a little top. It is very diddy. But I think it's really cute and obviously in really nice weather. I think it would look adorable. You could probably wear it with a million different things. I probably wouldn't put like the satin top with the denim shorts because I think it looks a little bit off, but maybe that's just me. Anyway, next up. So I did get quite a few little tops. Um, and one of them is this. Now, I know people go on about the Zara basics, so that's why I kind of want to pick some up. 
Um, but this was the only one they had in stock, and I just don't think this is the one that everyone wears. This was £7.99. It's a size small. It looks very big for a size small. It looks very see-through, very thick, and just not very flattering. So I'm going to try it on, and I'll be back. Okay, so personally I think I was right with my concerns. Um, I don't think that this neckline is very flattering, it's very baggy. Um, I know that some might like this kind of style, but for me this is a big no-no. Also, it's very nippy, which, you know, I don't really care about, but some of you guys might. I think if this was tight-fitted and a crop top, which is kind of what I was expecting, I think this would be absolutely lovely, but it's a no from me. It's a no. No, no, no. Um, okay, what should I go for next? Um, I seem to literally have tops, skirts, and dresses because that's the usual. Should I pop on this bad boy. So I'll just show you this close up before I put it on. I really like this bit of the top. It kind of reminds me of the purple one. It's got this little scrunchy detail. Um, but then on the sleeves, it has it this white crepe fabric. I mean, I actually think this crepe fabric looks really cheap. Um, but maybe when I try it on, I like it. Let's pop it on and see. Okay, so now that I've put this top on, also I put on another pair of the shorts because I thought, you know, let's make it look a little bit different. Um, I actually really like this top now that I've got it on. It's a little bit baggy on my boobs. Um, so I'm like, could that be doing with being taken up? Well, that would probably work since it's a bit more secure. Um, but I think I got this in a size small. I'm pretty sure they only did it in like a small, medium and large. So sadly it is a little bit baggy, but you know, no biggie. It's still comfy. You could probably wear some sort of bralette like, underneath it, maybe a strapless. I'm honestly not sure. Um, but I actually do really like it when it's on. Imagine if I had like a padded bra with it. I would look like, oh, hello, that would be a look. <gasps> oh my God, that would look great. I don't think I literally... This is my sports bra bra. This is my bra box. And the most I have towards a bra is literally this. Because I don't really... I literally don't even own a single, like, padded bra or anything anymore. So I might have to go try and find one in mum's room. Oh, wait. Where am I checking for this? Pretty sure mum's stolen those as well. Small boobies around in the family. Um, but no, I actually really, really like this top. I think it's really pretty. I still stand by the fact I think the sleeves look a little bit cheap. Um, but... In terms of, for me, creating, like, a broader shoulder and smaller waist kind of, like, hourglass figure, not that I have a problem with mine, just, you know, sometimes it's nice to mix it up, I think this does the trick, um, because it obviously is broadening my shoulders. I really want to find something to put in my bra, to put in my boobs, maybe have boobs. Um... Booyaka! I found chicken fillets. Sorry, mum didn't have them. I lied. Wowzers! Okay! Hi, I'm Misha Grimes, and I've got boobies in three seconds. It could still do with being a bit tighter so they'd like hold them up. But yeah, if it can fit chicken fillets in there, it could fit a bra. But then again, if you have bigger boobs, it might not. But you know what I mean. Same difference. Now for an equally as extravagant, but very different vibe a little crop top okay i'm obsessed with this i thought it was cute when it was just in the box but this is adorable it also looks so nice with these shorts like the line in which it cuts there and the shorts sit look so nice together um so it's this kind of like stitched is that what you'd say like stitch little puffy shouldered crop top i think this is absolutely gorgeous the sleeves are very puffy so this isn't your cup of tea then i totally get why but this is so beautiful it wasn't the cheapest it was 25 pound 99 but the quality is amazing it's also giving me much bigger boobs than i have because of this like puffy shaping then it has this little scrunchy effect oh my god i think this is absolutely gorgeous I love the pink. You guys are going to have to let me know what I'm keeping and sending back because this video is being filmed on Thursday and you guys are watching this on Sunday. So, that would be the perfect timing for you guys to help me decide what I keep and what I don't keep. My only problem with tops like this is I love them, but because they're such a statement, it's like hard to wear them in different ways. Um, but then again, my whole entire wardrobe is just full of statement clothing, so that explains things. Anyway, next up. I've got another top. I'm sorry, so many tops. Okay, so don't judge. This top needs a major iron, but 
I love Zara. I feel like they're random t-shirts. Um, so I think I got this in a size medium because I like them to be baggy. And this was £15.99 and it's Elmo from Sesame Street, as you guys may spot. He's in like this like sequiny red gold nose. I think it's so cute. It says so sweet. I almost think it could do with like being even like maybe more oversized in the arms. Then I could like roll it. I know this is not going to be everyone's cup of tea. They're kind of like a gimmick. But I really like these kind of t-shirts. Um, just for, you know, when you feel like bringing a little bit of fun to the world. That is what they are perfect for. And also my lip colour matches Elmo perfectly. And my little baby hairs are coming out to play. So yeah, really cute. Their t-shirts are also really, really soft fabric, which is nice. Um, but okay. Now, should we go for a skirt? I did pick up a skirt. Oh, I also need a wee. Um, I literally just peed five seconds ago, but I'm probably gonna have to go and wee. So I'll be back in the next look, which isn't gonna match, so don't judge because I'm just shoving things together as per. I love this top, but it's just too big. I got in a size small, should have got an extra small. That's fine. It's still mother freaking cute. So obviously, if this like fit me, let's just scrunchy it from the back. There we go, that's a better idea. Too far, I could just get it taken in, but I think I should just probably reorder it. So, does not match with this skirt, let's not judge. Um, but this is the cutest little like Victorian looking top with these puffy sleeves, these big pearls down the front. It is a little bit see through, um, but obviously, you could just wear a bra with it and it'd be totally fine. I'd also like it if it was a little bit more cropped. Um, but I'm assuming it would be if it was in a smaller size. Then we come down to the skirt. Now this skirt's quite tight on my bum cheek. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's a little bit of tight fit over my ass. But we got there in the end. Um, it also took me a while to figure out where the zip's supposed to go because at first I tried to put it on the side of my hip. I think that's why I was struggling to do it up. And then I put it on my bum and it was fine. Um, so this is like a little, it's kind of, it is asymmetrical even, it is asymmetrical, what am I on about? Um, and it's just this little polka dot number. It's in this creamy colour. And I do like it, I do really like it. Um, it's probably not the most practical thing. Because it's got that frill, it does give you like some, you know, scope to move around your legs. So you wouldn't be like, you know when you're in a tight skirt and you're like this. It's only tight on this section. Um, so I do really like it. It's the fact it's cream, I'm a little bit like... I think I'd prefer it if it was white, just because cream tops, I don't know, do I have any? I'm sure I do have a cream top somewhere. Most of my stuff's white, I'm realizing. Um, so I do really like it, I just kind of wish it was white, but I do really like the asymmetrical vibe going on. And yeah, these look horrific together, I know. Final item is a dress, it's kind of like a boho dress, and I accidentally ordered two of them. Um, don't ask how. I did. It's, that's all you need to know. I'm an idiot. We'll go with it. I'll pop it on and that is the final piece I have to show you guys. Okay, this dress. Not gonna lie. Not a vibe right now. Not my finest look. Not my most shapely look. It's one of those dresses that you should probably size down in because they are very baggy. Um, but obviously that's kind of the style. I still really like, like the colour of it, the little ruffles. But... I think if I take this belt, which is actually from Zara, but it's literally like two years old, so I'm really sorry, it's not on the website anymore. Um, and if I cinch this, I reckon it could look adorable. Absolutely adorable. See, there we go. So cute. Um, this would be great for um, like now kind of weather. But also, I think you could wear this with like a creamy pair of knee highs. And this would look so cute with like a brown pair of knee highs. Now that I put this belt with this, I honestly think it's transformed and absolutely adorable. Like, oh my god, I'm actually really obsessed with this now. Let me know if you also agree if the belt just did magic. Um, and then it's got all these really pretty like crocheting details. Or is that embroidery and glace? No, that's embroidery and glace. Okay, so that is the end of this 
Zara haul. I'm just going to bring you up higher so I don't have to squat down. Um, so, I hope you guys have enjoyed seeing the pieces that I picked up from Zara. As I said, not everything was in the sale, but some pieces were. And I use that as an incentive to do this haul. So, I hope you've all enjoyed. Um, and, yeah, make sure to do a like and subscribe. I will link a shop tagger down below. I will put all the information for the giveaway. Don't forget, you could win $1,000 worth in pounds um and then i'll also link all the items that are in stock and yeah make sure video like and subscribe and i will see you in my next video which will be on tuesday as per usual because in case you didn't know i upload tuesday thursday and sunday currently all at 10 a.m during lockdown because people aren't at work as much or at school so yeah anyway to pip i love you guys lots and i'll see you in the next bye guys Mwah.